Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. If you need to read only one cell value from an Excel file in SSIS, which task will you use? So there are multiple tasks we can use to perform this task. We can use a script task that can read a single value from an Excel file. We can use data flow task as well, but we have to apply a different condition. Maybe you have to split the data and uh, use drive column and some expressions uh, to get to the point where we can read that single value or, uh, or extract that single uh, value from that cell. But there is an easy way we can extract or read the value from a cell in Excel by using execute SQL task. So let's go to the SSDT and I will show you how to do it. Uh, bring the execute SQL task here, double click and now we have connection types here. So if you uh, click on here and drop down tells you Excel, OLEDB, ODBC and different uh, connections uh, available to us. So here we are going to select Excel and then uh, we will make a connection uh, to the Excel file. Here I have one file just uh, created for example and uh, my values that I want to read it is in B2 cell. So uh, that's where the value is and it's a date we can call it business date and now go here make a connection to the Excel I didn't save that file I just open it so I, I wanted to show you once you made the connection then you will be using direct input and uh, writing your query here your query will look like this select star from and sheet name in my case it's sheet one dollar sign and then I want to read from B2 that's the cell where uh, where my value is and I have to provide a range so I will provide B3 so if I will provide B2 and B2 I will not be able to read the value so I have to provide the range here so from B2 to B3 and it will read the only the value that is present in B2 cell uh, that's how we can use execute SQL task and read the value from the cell the next part is uh, we can save that value to the variable so in the result set you can select single row and then uh, you can map uh, to the variable uh, where you want to save this uh, um, business date or any other value what you have read uh, from excel file and use uh, further in your inside your ssis package thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video